Hi moms, welcome back. Have you been wondering, is the sugar that you're taking in actually making your anxiety worse? One of the things that we talk about on this channel is anxiety relief, ways to decrease the anxiety, physical symptoms, emotional symptoms, and thinking symptoms that you've been having connected to your anxiety. But unfortunately, there may be some foods you're taking in that are making your anxiety worse. Let's get started. Welcome to Tranquility Moms. My name is Katherine Gardner. I am a mom of two. I am a certified perinatal mental health specialist, a therapist that specializes in working with moms and pregnant moms, and I'm also a health coach. In today's episode, we're gonna be looking at the sugar that you're taking in. And you may tell me, but I'm craving more of it during my pregnancy. Or with the newborn, you feel like I'm just trying to get a little bit of sugar to give me some kind of energy boost. We got no sleep last night. I get it. I have such a sweet tooth myself. And so this topic is near and dear to my heart because it's something I have struggled with. And I want to share some of the tips that I have that are going to help you to look at what you're eating, what's hidden inside what you're eating, and how it could be changing your brain. That way you have an education and awareness about what you can do to decrease your anxiety, get in control of it, and find your tranquility. All right, so first of all, let's start out. Yes, sugar is making your anxiety worse. Unfortunately, there are different times that the brain craves sugar. The more sugar you've been eating, the more it craves it. Sugar begets sugar. So I've done trials where I'll do three days of no sugar. Now, it's a total cutoff of sugar and I can get headaches and feel very sluggish just from not having that sugar or caffeine in my system. But I notice now that I've cut it out, I'm not craving it. I'm not looking around for that same time of day treat, right? And that may have become your habit for yourself. So check that out. Are there certain times of the day that you've just told yourself you get the reward of the chocolate candy? As a health coach, I'm going to let you know that sugar is not all bad and there aren't all bad types of sugar. It is about understanding how the sugar is changing you and you making a choice. Do I want to continue having these habits or are these really making me feel worse in the long run? We're gonna look at maybe there are substitutions or other foods that you can be having where you get your fix without feeling awful and having those sugar spikes. So because we know that the sugar is changing the way that your chemistry is, right? Caffeine, picture a little kid, give them a candy bar, right? They're jumping around, they're bouncing on the bed. You can see how it changes them. Well, take a look at how it might be changing you. Do you notice that one hour to three hours after you have something sugary, you come back down in a crash? Do you notice that, oh, now it's really hard to have any motivation to get up and get going and do something? Or if you don't have your sugar, right? A lot of people in their morning coffee, they are adding in all kinds of sugars or creamers with a lot of heavy sugar in those. And then you're talking to them and they've got rapid pressured speech or they're bouncing around doing task to task to task. And on the outside, as a mom during pregnancy and postpartum, that may be ideal, right? We say, oh, I just need some energy. But check out some of my other videos about real natural foods that give you energy. Sugar is a fake energy. It is not sustaining you all throughout the day. It is giving you what Dr. Sears calls sugar spikes. You come up, but then you always come back down. And you may notice too on that coming back down, are you agitated and irritable? Now you've got sort of sensory overload. Oh, why are they crying? Oof, why does this hurt? You're more in tune to everything because you're coming back down on your sugar spike. I want you to feel like you're not on that emotional roller coaster. Like you can stop and respond to stress that's going on around you instead of reacting and being spazzy and being impulsive and being agitated from the food that you have taken in. 
there are foods that may even surprise you, right? There's our obvious sugars, donuts, cookies, candy bars. But what about the hidden sugars, right? Reading some of your labels and taking a look at, you may be taking in a yogurt, which is very healthy, but which type of yogurt? Some of the yogurts are adding in a lot of ingredients to make it taste better, but the sugar grams on the label may shock you. Or take a look in your cupboard. There may be crackers that you're eating that you'd be surprised to realize how many grams of sugar are inside that cracker. I know during my pregnancy, I needed something carb and salty to soothe my stomach. But when I started to read labels, I realized the companies were putting way more additives to increase the taste of the, the cracker, but there were too many grams of sugar. If I really looked at my whole day, how many grams of sugar I was actually taking in. Other places that you might have hidden sugar is in your morning cereal. Again, take a look at that label. How many grams of sugar? Is it below five grams of sugar? Is it over 10 grams of sugar? 20 grams of sugar? Certainly caffeinated drinks, reading those labels and understanding what kind of sugar is the company using to sweeten it. Having a real piece of fruit is much better than going for a juice drink. So be aware when you're walking through the grocery store, instead of buying bottles and bottles of juice to get in your vitamins, go for the real fruit itself. In the comments down below, share with our Tranquility Moms community, what are some of the foods that you've been eating and craving that are sugary? And have you found a good substitute? That'll help out some of the other moms here. The key issue with taking in that kind of sugar is that it's also increasing cortisol and it's affecting how adrenaline is coming into your system. If you've watched some of my anxiety videos, I talk all about how much we're on the lookout for the danger, where's the tiger, but as soon as we get a trigger, the alarm system sends all this adrenaline into our system. Fight, flight, freeze. Well, unfortunately, sugary foods can trick the brain into thinking, oh, we're at alert. There's something to be alerted about because of the stimulation coming in from your sugar foods. So unfortunately, it's creating you to stay more at a heightened level. And what did we say? That disrupts sleep, that makes it hard to concentrate, and it brings on a lot of fatigue. So that is how we know, yes, sugar is making your anxiety worse. You may be wired to be an anxious person, but what you're taking in in the food is not just giving you those sugar spikes of, of fatigue, but also they're tricking the brain into thinking, yes, we need to stay at this heightened alert state. So let's talk about, but you still have a sugar craving, right? You still want a treat throughout the day. What can you substitute in that's gonna be a healthier choice and your body digests it in a better way? That could be making a nice cup of tea. You can cut up some bananas and have banana slices. You can have dried fruit in a mixed bowl, maybe with some other nuts, right? Those are our healthy fats. So those blend together well and do not take us on those sugar spikes as Dr. Sears talks about in his books. And certainly it is always better to make homemade treats than store-bought processed foods. I always wonder how can those cookies sit on the shelf at the grocery store for weeks before they're sold? What's in them? But if you're cooking at home and baking, Take a look at recipes like the Mama Bowls website. I'll put her link down below. She's one of my favorites. She bakes foods for herself and her family that you can see exactly what the ingredients are and they're better choices for ingredients. Sometimes she'll substitute in a homemade applesauce instead of a bunch of sugars into a cookie recipe or a brownie recipe. Then you know how you're cutting up the servings and you know what size the cookies are that you're making, but you are in control of what ingredients go inside. Each episode, I give you some mom work. And your mom work for this week is read the labels. Take a look at what you're purchasing. Take a look at what you've been eating throughout the day. How many grams of sugar 
Are there more than three grams, more than six, more than nine, more than 12 grams of sugar inside the food that you're eating so that you can manage throughout the day? Yes, you want to have that little sweet treat. However, you're in control that it is not affecting and worsening the anxiety that you're working so hard to get in control of because we want to be in that place of calm and confidence with good energy. I call it tranquility. But to get there, I need to be in control of what I'm putting inside my body. Thank you so much for being here. Subscribe to this channel. I put out videos each week. If you ring the bell, it puts those videos right into your feed. Give it a thumbs up. Show other moms that the video has been helpful to you. My name is Katherine Gardner. I am a mom of two. I am a certified perinatal mental health specialist. I'm a therapist that specializes in working with moms and pregnant moms, and I'm a health coach. I've gotten all of that education so that I can come and bring these tools to you, giving you anxiety relief and helping you to feel like you are in control of the anxiety in your life so that you can find that beautiful place of tranquility. We are in motherhood together. Today, take care of yourself. 